Hi everyone, welcome back to RC Pie. I'm here in the beautiful Northumbria countryside. Absolutely wonderful. Um, standing amongst the rocks of Hadrian's Wall. So I thought today might be a good opportunity to compare a few tyres. So just three different tyres I'm going to test today on some of these rocks. I'm going to use four different rocks, five different rocks. Um, I'm going to put them on the CRX2. So I'm going to look at the stock Hobbytech Class 1 Climber tyres, which have been performing pretty well. And I'm going to just compare those to a couple of other Class 1 tyres in the, the Charisma Scale Adventure, um, what's it called, it's the ATTA, um, the stock tyre on things like the Range Rover and the Toyota Tacoma. So I'll compare those and the Voodoo KLR. Now some people might say it's not Voodoo, some might say it is, but the one that is available from Endura, which I've taken off my D90. Um, so we're gonna compare those, see which seems to be the best on these rocks. Let's see what happens. Here's rock A with the stock Hobbytech tires. It's not a very steep climb. Very easy up and down and losing a little bit there, but pretty straightforward side hilling experience. Now this isn't what I'd recommend to anybody using your cordless drill to change your wheels, but it's certainly a lot faster. As long as you keep it on a low torque setting, shouldn't really be a problem. Right, Rock A with the Charismas. As you'd expect, straightforward. A nice traverse, a side hill, probably slightly better because they're lower profile. And onto the third tyre of the test. So this is the Endura um, Voodoo KLR. As you'd expect, straightforward on there. See what the side hill is like. Kind of got that medium ground between the Charisma and the Hobby Tech, but it's a slightly shorter sidewall and there are dual stage foams in here, so maybe we're not doing like for like in some ways, but going for the mechanical grip. Right, we've got Rock B with the Hobby Tech Class 1 climbers. Straightforward. We'll try a bit of side hilling with that. The problem here is more likely to be the rig yeah. than the tyres. Tyres seem to hold. But the rig's a bit top heavy. Rock 2 with the Charismas. Still no problem there. Try that with a traverse. Well, it's doing slightly better on there than with the others, but I think, again, that's because it's low profile, so it's, it's keeping a slightly centre lower of gravity. There we go. So the grip was fine. 
It's now the, the Voodoo KLRs on Rock B. Straightforward climb. Descent straightforward. We'll try that side hilling. So we should have a bit more stability from those foams. Doing pretty well. Now that is a good performance. Um, now can we put that down just to the tyres or is that more to do with them having that firm support with the foams? Rock C with the Hobbytech tyres. Now this is a gradually increasing incline. So we're getting that rear tyre just above this line in the rock and that's about all it's going for. Let's just try that again. Again, we're taking that to the limit of the truck. The tyre is doing well. I'm going to try a slightly different angle here, see if we can get ourselves a bit higher. Sure, we will. This front wheel is well off. We're getting above that line. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Right, Rock C with the Charisma ATTAs, is it? And So more or less the same point, but the problem now seems to be the traction more than the balance of the truck. Now I know one will affect the other, but right, let's try it from this other angle like I did with the other one. where we can get to. Right, so it looks like slightly less traction. So Rock C with the Endurers. There we go, there's that lip at the start. Now can we get up beyond that line? I think that's slightly, slightly higher and then we're worrying about the balance again. It's a pretty good performance. We'll try it from this side, as we have with the others. And that, I would say, is the best yet. Pretty impressive. Right, this is Rock D and this is going to be quite a challenge to try and get along this rock. The tyres are scrabbling on the lichen. I thought I'd be able to get along here. I really did. 
but this lichen is tough and it's just not it's just not gripping I'm just sliding straight down on that lichen it'll be very interesting to see if anything else can do any better okay this nasty rock D trying to get along it with all this lichen on it struggling to get anything let's just try it right over here yeah it's not finding that easy right now for the KLRs on this impossible test Or certainly with this truck. Oh. Hey, we got along a little bit. Let's try that again. That wasn't a bad performance. This lichen is a nightmare. too bad not too bad let's try it at that midpoint again see if we can hold no oh, a wheel over definite definite top performer there now this is rock e which is my sort of real world crawling challenge get onto this rock and then try to get over the left hand side may prove rather tricky struggling on the lichen it's done all right to get there try just coming down this way a bit more I'm trying to get over to that edge oh, we got it up and now for the real world challenge with the charisma tires you know just getting onto this rock is tricky and I think the, the low profile here, whereas it's helped with some things, not helping. There we go, we've got it on. It's doing quite well, but we look like we're going to lose our balance. Might have to take this down, go a bit lower. Take that angle that we took before. Ooh. We've got there, but we've definitely got less mechanical grip. go but it would seem there's less mechanical grip than with the hobby techs and we just can't pull ourselves off the off the belly off the skid plate there we've got a little bit less break over so that's definitely a downside but we're just not getting that traction. Now finally, 
the Voodoo KLRs on this real world rock crawling test. We've got higher side walls than the Charismas, so that starts easier. We seem to have more mechanical grip and those firmer side walls are doing their job pretty well. Can we even get up this side? Surely not. But it's having a good go. take it back to the, the way the others have gone. That's got up there better. So it's actually, it's got to the top without going round this side, whereas the others have had to get there to even hook onto here. Those KLRs have got up to the top. Well, today's tyre test is done. Um, I found it quite interesting, hope you did. Uh, the, the Charismas, which I was expecting not to perform that well, to be honest. Um, their, their overall performance wasn't bad. What I've previously seen as a weakness in this very low profile, in some ways, is quite a positive because you are given a slightly lower centre of gravity um, certainly for traversing that's going to help you to just stay upright um, certainly struggled on that lichen but overall not bad not bad now the the hobby tech the ones that came as stock on this crx2 when i'd first got the kit when i first built the kit i looked at them and i thought they look like a hyrax copy they certainly do look a bit like a hyrax copy um, but they are they are class one. It'd be interesting to compare these to a, a class one Hyrax. Um, the performance overall seems very good. The the grip from them is pretty excellent. Um, but they are quite tall, and they do like the, the side walls like to bend to one side quite a bit. You're not getting that with the Charisma, but with those getting quite a lot of flex on those side walls which isn't helping when you're trying to traverse something now the KLRs those have got dual stage foams in so perhaps we're not comparing like with like in some ways but considering the packages that you get with Injura I would recommend anybody to get those dual stage foams with those with some wheels and some some of these KLRs um, the mechanical grip with those is excellent. I can tell you that on any surface, these are a good grippy tire. Uh, they're super cheap as well, but these are all kind of a, a, a relatively budget tire. Um, every aspect of those KLRs, I think just about trumped the other two tires. So if you're looking for a class one sort of size of tyre that would be my current recommendation i hope you found this helpful today if you've got any thoughts or anything else you'd like to see compared let me know if i can fit it into my schedule i will do my best and we'll see you soon on rc pie thanks for watching